Good morning. Welcome to Mission Basilica San Buenaventura. Today is Friday within the octave of Easter. The Lord led his people in hope while the sea engulfed their foes. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, and welcome to the celebration of the Eucharist this Friday. And those of you who are joining us online, you are welcome once again, though we are apart, we are together. For we are united in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. And we join in his sacrifice offered to the Father. So in preparation for our celebration, once again, we acknowledge our sins. We recognize our mistakes and ask for God's forgiveness. And let us be always ready to forgive each other, be reconciled in the name of the Lord. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race. So dispose our minds, we pray, that we, what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was evening.
But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders and elders and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into the presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all of the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone by the lord has done <clears throat> by the lord has this been done it is wonderful in our eyes this is the day the lord has made let us be glad and rejoice in it the stone rejected by the builders o lord grant salvation O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. The stone rejected by the builders. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <coughs> Jesus revealed again, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize 
that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, no. So he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment for he was slightly clad and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out of, when they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Disciples were pretty much convinced that the spirit of the risen Lord was working through them. These men who were so frightened and fearful who locked themselves up for the fear of the Jews, now challenging anyone and everyone who would challenge them. So it is power of the risen Lord working through them. And to be convinced of that is our challenge as well when we share the message of the good news that the Lord has risen, he has overcome death forever. So through that power, the disciples work miracles. You rejected him, they told them, but the stone that was rejected has become the cornerstone now. So in the gospel story we see once again, they knew that it was the Lord, but no one cared to or dared to ask him, for they were convinced within their hearts. So they went back to their own routine as fishermen when fishing. But then the Lord once again reminded them, I am with you. And the Lord is with us all the time. So as we break bread today once again, recognizing the Lord in the breaking of the bread, having been filled with that sacred food, his precious body and blood, we go forth as messengers of the Lord, the new disciples of our Savior Jesus Christ, as we heard, there is no salvation but through him.
trusting in the power of the name of Jesus, we bring our petitions to the Lord. That all who serve the church may be inspired and strengthened by the truth of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may be moved by the spirit in promoting policies and protect the sanctity of life in all stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who feel lost or overwhelmed by circumstances may be sust sustained and strengthened by God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those of us gathered here may grow in the holiness and compassion through the grace of the word and sacrament in this festive season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may be raised to celebrate with him in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Special intentions which we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Mission Basilica and Buenaventura parishioners, and for the happy repose of the soul of Deving Abe Sundara, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. All-powerful God, who brings life from death, grant our prayers according to your holy will. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these Paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our blessed patrons, Buenaventura, Junipero, Sarah, Kateri Tekavita, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Mis hermanos fieles a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza nos atrevemos a decir Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo santificado sea tu nombre venga a nosotros tu reino hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos des caer la tentación y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, Mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Tuyo es el reino, tuyo el poder y la gloria por siempre, Señor. Señor Jesucristo, que diciste a tus apóstoles la paz, os dejo. Mi paz os doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, con la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Dense fácilmente un símbolo de la paz. Cordero de Dios, que quita el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros. Cordero de Dios, que quita el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros. Cordero de Dios, que quita el pecado del mundo, danos la paz. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your fidelity.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.